Hey guys, my name is Weefies, and welcome back to another Skywars commentary. Today's video, we're going to be talking about something that has been quite an issue for me lately, and it kind of really has been all my life, but I've really just started to do something about it until now, and that's saying no. Uh, I'm genuinely regarded, I'm usually, sorry, not genuinely, I don't know where that came from, I'm usually regarded as a kind person by my friends, I don't know if I view myself that way, or my siblings definitely don't view me that way, but I'm usually regarded by my friends as a kind person, and I do share some, I do have some empathetic aspects, sure, and one thing that I really struggle with, which may, you know, have an influence on this, is saying no. Uh, I can be guilt tripped quite easily, and when somebody would ask me something like a friend or, you know, my parent would invite me to something that I just didn't want to go to, it's just be it'd be really hard for me to say no. Uh, another thing this comes up with this happens a lot actually with fans or people that want to me like to do something for them, because I'm a YouTube quotes YouTuber, and uh, what I want to say about that is like many people will come to me DMing me with certain requests and things that they want me to do and consider and I mean it's easier because I don't get to see them in reality I don't really know who they are but at the same time I want to make a good impression because they're sort of strangers online and when somebody asks me their request like hey you want to do a collab it's really hard for me to just say no I think my strategy would probably would be to say maybe and to try to stall it for as long as possible and hopefully they just forget but when they keep pressuring me, like, hey, you want to do a collab? Hey, it's today. I, I just can't say no. Usually I'd say no, sorry. And then I'd feel really bad about myself for a second. But, you know, I'll, I I do my best to limit how many people I interact with on Discord anyway. But usually people email me or just send me a Discord message. And it's clear, like, they want something of me. It's just really difficult for me to refuse whatever they're saying. And whenever I do refuse, it doesn't, maybe it doesn't come across this way, but I always interpret my refusal as rude. I never once think the person is rude for asking me this or that they want me because I have a bit of subscribers. I, It's just that I don't think that they're doing anything wrong. I'm doing something wrong by saying no to them and shutting out what they want, which is a really bad mindset to have because... As my friends told me, it's really important to be able to say no to people. And so this is kind of something that I, you know, I'm trying to get better with. And hopefully over time it will happen. Let me share a little story. So, um, I live in America, EST time zone. And my father asked if I wanted to see a Patriots game. And we have to go a little bit of a distance to go to this Patriots game. But, you know, I am, I'm not a huge American football fan, but... I do support the Patriots over any other team, and what I decided from what I concluded from this, ex what I, ugh, sorry, what am I saying? I didn't want to go mainly because the game was on Sunday and it was six hours there back and the game even more possibly. So this was a bit of an issue because obviously I couldn't say no as easily as I could if it was online because it was my father. And I felt like if I would email him, it just wouldn't be as genuine and I wouldn't feel as uh, satisfied with what I've done. So it's for that reason it took me really long to say no. And eventually what I did was he, he pressured me about it. Not a lot. He was kind about it. He's like, hey, can you tell him by tonight? And on that night where I said, can you tell him by tonight? I was just strolling upstairs, walking, pacing back and forth, figuring out the right way to say no. I didn't want to say the word refuse. Because that would seem too harsh in my mind. I didn't want to say the word, I'll pass. Because that seems like I couldn't even care what he wants to do. I couldn't say, I don't want to go. Because that makes me seem rude. And I couldn't say, I can't go. Because then he'll get mad at me. Because the only reason, I, the only thing I will do at that time is use my computer or read. And that's not an excuse for not, for can't going. And I really couldn't think of a good word to use. And I am bilingual. But my other language couldn't, you know, I didn't have anything to say that wouldn't seem rude in my mind. So I kind of struggled with that a bit. And after, you know, pacing around and wasting like 15 solid minutes of just thinking of how to say no, my dad's just working in his office. I would pray that he would just come out and say, hey, do you want to go yes or no? And I'd say no. And he'd say, okay. So then I consider the consequences if I said no. What would he react? So I was hoping he'd react with like, oh, okay, no problem. And that's the best case scenario. Worst case scenario, he's like, you suck, die. 
And obviously I wasn't going to say that, but you know, that's what it sounds like to me when I get refused by... When I get, you know, rudened with quotes again, because obviously it's not rude of him to deny, to be mad that I refused his offer. Anyway, I ended up um, practicing the phrase over and over again in my head. It's like, no, um, like, sorry for bothering you, because I want to be polite. Sorry for bothering you and for the delay, because obviously I stalled until I gave him this response. Sorry for bothering you and the delay. Uh, I don't want to go. I this is the I didn't want to say refuse, because that just seemed way too harsh to me. And I'll pass. Seems like I didn't care enough. I don't want to go. It does really sound rude to me because it's it's like you don't care about what the person wants of you. You don't want to go, meaning, oh, yeah, yeah, you don't matter to me. I don't want to go with you. I'm sure maybe he didn't interpret like that, but the response I got was far from good in my mind. Um, he responded with, okay. But, <laughs> but it doesn't sound so bad, but he said it in that kind of tone. And I don't know if any of you experienced this. Maybe you haven't. I hope you haven't. But your parents would just say this with a... They probably have. Your parents would just say this with a condescending and sad tone, like, to make you feel bad about refusing. And it just made me so sad for some reason that he said, okay, like, that is, like, softer than usual. And I just felt really bad, like, I disappointed him. So I ended up sitting next to the window for the next five minutes and almost crying because that's how bad it made me feel. I don't feel this bad when it comes to interacting with people on Discord, but that said, I will be trying to be more strict, and obviously I'm not being, I'm going I'm not going to be strict, but I'm going to be more strict than what I am right now, because when it comes to saying no to people, so I'm sorry if that comes across as rude to you, but I think it's just better for me. <laughs> I don't know what the point of this episode is, I kind of just want to talk about this, because it's something that I feel is important, and maybe other people also have a bit of a problem saying no, I don't know. Haha, <laughs> get it? Puns. Uh, anyway, uploads will, you know, occur tomorrow because today's Sunday, tomorrow's Monday, all good. Anyway, hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, hashtag relatable, and I'll see you all in the next time. Peace out. Sorry for that, that got a bit too personal. Oops. Peace.